Okay, so I talked about having two different components to building the voice. There was the stretching the chest voice all the way up as far as you could before handing it off into the head. And I said there was the school of thought of bringing the head voice down into the chest as far as you can and building that component too. This was something that was used a lot by maestros uh, to get, um, you know, the, especially sopranos, uh, to always sing the high note because they really could care less about the low note. So what they would do is they would stretch and make sure that that soprano had all full function of her soprano range and really cared very little about belting wailing in the midsection. Well, that can also be said and could be true of jazz singers uh, and pop guys or R&B guys who really don't care so much about belting and wailing in that upper midsection. So this part of this is going to be for you guys, and I want you to actually consider at least growing the mid voice so that it's so strong so when you start to get in your 30s and 40s, you don't lose your mid voice altogether because that's that there's a tendency for that to happen. That if you don't continue to work the mid voice and, and work it strong in the upper mid voice, if you don't use it, you lose it. So if you favor uh, you favor you know your head voice down into your lower register, then what happens is there's a tendency to lose the mid voice. It's a lot like when I tell you don't favor as you're crossing the passaggio, don't go la. la we have to keep the velocity and the volume exactly the same. Otherwise, we'll lopside the voice and we don't get to build the nice strength in the bridge, right? So, but for, for, for giggles, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the top to the bottom because there's a lot of screen guys out there. And if you're listening to me right now and you're a screen guy, um, this is sort of the flavor of the month uh, for scream in order to be able to hit these belting wailing notes and bring them down into the lower register. So we're gonna actually start all the way up to the A. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Now we're gonna cut back our air. We're gonna not sing so heavy. We're gonna, or, um, excuse me, we're gonna sing heavy, but we're gonna, by the way, if you're a jazz guy, into the chest as far as we can before we hand it off into the chest voice. Let's keep going. Right? Now hear me kind of come in for a landing when I go there and I add all that little extra air to get in there. That's because I'm singing it so heavy that I'm actually trying to build that scream chorus sound. So, yeah! 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 All right? So you can actually experiment with this and do your normal warm up first so that you've warmed up your chest voice so you're not tearing down the midsection of your chest voice and then go ahead and bring the scream and or believe it or not the jazz guys can do this too if you want to increase your range like you know uh, celebrate good times come on you know you want to hit those kinds of notes right you can actually do this too just don't add all the sound pressure and the distortion to the sound and this will actually give you a monstrous head voice and scream voice um, but don't forget the midsection. Otherwise, you're going to be like the Jeff Tates of the world and all these other people who've lost their midsection because of oh, Queen of the Rye, you know, or Queen of, Queen of the Rye, you know, whatever that was, I forget. Or instead of Queen of the Rye, you can actually connect the sound, right, and build the sound instead of just lopsiding the voice and only going into a head voice sound, okay? All right, let's go. <laughs> 